we come here today to this spot to remember George Floyd, who was tortured, who was tortured to death. Why didn't we have equal justice and due process for the benefit of Ahmaud Arbery like you would have had if it was a young white man laying dead on the ground? While America is dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, we in black America are dealing with the 1619 pandemic. It's become painfully obvious that what we have right now are two systems of justice, one for white Americans and another for black Americans. Trayvon's parents were heartbroken with this news, knowing that the killer of their child was never going to be held criminally liable for taking his life. An adult follows and kills a child and nothing happens to him. It's just a, a terrible thing that should have never happened. You've seen his children. They are horrified at what they witnessed on this video. I think every human being who has any humanity in them are horrified what they see on this video. The only question is, why weren't those police officers horrified? When they kill us, we expect full justice. We expect justice for the civil rights that you took from this human being. The pain in his father. Can you imagine? This is real. This is real, America. This is real. We have video surveillance that pretty much shows everybody what happened. So we don't need to try to speculate or narrate for anybody. You can see it with your own eyes. You look at that video, you don't see him resisting or doing anything. He is simply uh, complying.
people worry that by chasing civil cases rather than concentrating on the criminal cases or pushing for justice in the criminal courts, you're not delivering justice, you're just delivering money. What, what do you say to that? I don't get to do anything with the criminal case. Only the government, elected government officials are the only people who can arrest people, charge them, and convict them of a crime. So that's all the prosecutor's responsibility. Now, what we do, we are private lawyers. All private lawyers get to sue for wrongful death. And the only thing you can recover is money. There's nothing else. You can't bring the person back to life. And so in getting these people some measure of justice, since justice has eluded them based on the failures of the prosecutor, what we are doing is getting some justice for the families. And we have never lost a case. In all these cases, we have always won the civil judgments or got settlements for black people in America. Until we have transparency plus accountability, we can never bridge this divide of mistrust between communities of color and law enforcement. It's real simple. It's about trust. And neither side seem to trust the other. <laughs>